word, Norm is a, a leader, you know, just a very, very uh, positive, strong leader. And I think that's a great trait of leadership. You know, when, when, when people need to see um, some optimism, they need to see uh, uh, some positive things. Uh, and, and when you go one in 10, it's hard to find positives, but that was one thing we tried to accentuate. And again, Norm was just a, a real stable person. And, uh, you know, my sense was it was gonna be bumpy for a while. And uh, again, going back to hiring Norm, uh, it just felt like it was going to be hard to rock his world, but uh, you know, what, what I had hoped uh, that Norm would deliver uh, got delivered a uh, hundred times over. He just was so positive and uh, did a great job and he was demanding with our players, but he did it in a real positive way, in a way that the players responded to in a real favorable way. And uh, you know, to me, if you look at our thir the 13 years with Norm coaching here, uh, any success that we had, it all began with our defense and that was something uh, I've been, I guess uh, just going back to my childhood, you know, one thing you learn in sports is if you play good defense, you got a chance in anything you're doing. And, uh, you know, you just, you, you couldn't have asked for anybody better than Norm Parker to, to, to really establish that in our program. And uh, then beyond that, just the, the impact he's had on everybody uh, during his 15 years living in this state. Anybody he interfaces with walks away with a smile on their face and just, I think, a great deal of respect for the, for the man that Norm Parker is. Hey, I'll make you, I'll make you the home watch. He took the knowledge he had, condensed it down into a very simplified uh, form and then gave it to us and we were able to go out and play, play hard, play fast. And he always said, it's not how much I know as a coach, it's how much you know as a player and how much we know, you know, the other 10 guys around you know, um, you know, because you're the ones out there making the plays. You know, I haven't seen a coach that's ever made a tackle or, or scored a touchdown, that kind of stuff. So he's like, you guys are the ones out there. So it's important that you know what you're doing. When we always used to talk about defenses and what we want to do is he always used to tell us, you know, it's not what you know, it's what the players can execute. And uh, so that sometimes you got to look at it. And, and that's what I try to take in the, you know, in the coaching now. And, you, you know, you might know a lot of things and, and want to do a lot of things, but if your players can't execute it, Obviously, you don't want to run the defense. Let's go. You got to get there. Hey, you got to bang that guy before you leave. You just can't take off. You know, I tried to think of a moment when he was down or like sad or like, and he, he never was. And, uh, you know, that's how he led his life. And I think, uh, you know, there's tons of moments he can point out, but just every day in and day out, he was a happy guy. He loved the game of football. He loved his guys and he loved being with the guys. And, uh, you know, that's what made it easy and made it fun to be around. Very unique person where a man who, who's coached a bunch of people, the guys don't really talk about how he coached, they talk about how he was as a person and how he, how he treated them as a man and how, they, how he helped them become better men. And that to me is what embodies a uh, football coach, you know, embodies college football and norms everything that's great about, great about the sport of football. And you know, the college football is missing a, a great man, but the world's missing a better person. One, two, three. We're going